doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm walking them down. Reaching the spots in the round. Can't hop out, then we clearing the. Hey, what's up, guys? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest. Fly Nari. Fly Nari, what's the word, man? What's up? How you feeling? Chilling, man. I'm feeling New York, man. I'm loving it out here. <laughs> what you did you. so far? Uh, I shot a video out here on my first day. Okay. Did it on the radar. Square, I did a Times Square. I did something in Soho. Okay. I'm slight learning. I sound like, like I know what okay. I'm talking about. Though. Yeah, I'm I was gonna say. Ooh, okay. Chinatown, you know, did okay, a couple right interviews. Now we in Queens. Queens with it, you know. <laughs> yeah, but um, okay. So I'm asking a couple questions to say the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> Best song. Chrome Hearted. Um, favorite artist outside of hip hop. Outside of hip hop. Mhm. Mm R&B. R&B. Uh. I say Sade. Sade? Where are you from? Who's that? It's old. old. Singing. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm learning. Okay, Um, give us one of your hardest bars. One of my hardest bar? Mm hmm He put that on his kids. He ain't even got no kids. Because niggas be lying out here, bro. <laughs> oh, dang. Um, give us a song you know everywhere, too, that's not yours. Every song, every word that I know, probably uh, a song you know everywhere too. That's not yours. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm trying to think too hard on it. It could be an old track. It could be a singing track. It don't have to be a, you know. I say uh, Lil Durk, Pass the Water. Okay. okay. Um, celebrity crush. Margaret Robbie. Hmm. Margaret Robbie, that's Barbie, Harley Quinn. Yo. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, but wow, okay. <laughs> I'm throwing you off. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Favorite music video of yours? Favorite music video of mine? I like, uh, I like Chrome Harder. I like the first Chrome Harder I shot. I mean, okay, most used app on your phone? Instagram. <laughs> And what song do you listen to for motivation? For motivation? Mm -hmm. I probably cut on like some YTB fat or like some. Shit like that. Okay. Yeah, you know, just to get turned. Okay. So that, that motivates you though? Yeah, like it make me want to get out here on get some turn shit. shit. Yeah, got move it, around. Got it, got it. All right, so get us, let's get them to say your name. How'd you get your rap name, Fly Nari? Fly Nari, I just, I don't know. I just, I like fashion and shit a lot, so like. Me and my guys and shit like where I'm from in Chicago and shit like you dress up nice and shit. We call it like you getting fly and shit. Mm -hmm. So that's always what I've been on all my life and shit. So I just it just fit like you know Flat Nari and Nari my real name. So oh. it just you know. Okay. And when did you start taking music seriously? I had to be I'm like. Say, it looked like five years ago you was on that. Yeah, oh probably God. about like five years. Like maybe I had to be like seventeen or something. Okay. Once I finally like heard like my voice, you know, mm -hmm. and I was decent. Okay. Ain't nobody ever tell me my shit was weak, so I'm like, oh yeah, I got some shit. So what made you first skilled. go to the studio? Walk us through your first studio session. My first studio session was in a basement with a okay. producer. His name Spank on the beat he from Mount West, That's Chicago. And we was in a basement. Man, my uncles took me. I told him like, find me somebody where I could record, cause like. I was always writing music and writing music and freestyling and shit like with the guys and shit, but I ain't never record an actual song until I did that session in the basement. But once I did that, I heard myself on a song, I just took off from there and never looked back. Okay. So like, it's some breaks, it's like you dropped for once and then like you took a break for like a year or so. Or like you wasn't consistent as much as you are now. Uh, I just feel like I take it more serious now. I'm a little older now, you know? Mm -hmm. Going through different shit, I see like this is what I really want to do, you know. Okay. And what motivates you? Like, what keeps you going to keep it going? I'll say like really like my supporters and shit, like the people who fuck with me. Like, I feel like if I don't get them what they need and I already started something, like, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like that's what motivates me to keep pushing shit out for them, you know. Okay. So how was it like in Chicago? I feel like Chicago got a real popular music scene. Like, so how was it out there? Was they receptive to your music at that time, or like? 
Yeah, Chicago, I'm still trying to take over my whole city first. I know once I take over Chicago first, I can take over any city, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. But Chicago's supportive of me. Like, I fuck with a lot of Chicago artists, you know, from and a lot of mm -hmm. Chicago artists fuck with me, too. People say it's like crab in a barrel out there. What you think? As far as what? Like, but it's like everybody be fake supporting until, like... Yeah, you, that shit true. You feel like that? I don't gain that shit true. <laughs> Okay. Yo, everybody in season from Chicago say that, bro. It'd be a lot of fake shit going on. But so how do you decipher who's a real like supporter and rocking with you versus who's just? Cause like if you if you're a real nigga, then you could tell real shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you could you, you seem like a real nigga, you know. Like <laughs> you could tell you could tell real shit though. Like can't you? Like you could tell when somebody real or genuine, I can't mean, you? I mean, yeah, but I feel like the way we find out somebody not genuine be like crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't been around motherfuckers that I had to like eventually stop being around because yeah. you know yeah I feel like the unfold of it all be the be the dramatic part yeah so um do what type of music do you feel like you make I'm versatile with it. I like making like I don't really set myself to just one type of music like as far as just like R&B or just like rapping shit or like drill or some shit mm -hmm. I, I, I make mood music like or well, I say, like, I go back what my mood is, you know? Okay. Sometimes I might want to get in a studio and I might want to be on strictly rapper shit, just, mm -hmm. you know, bars, letting that shit out. Or sometimes I might be, want to be cool, you know? I might want to sing to her or something, you know? Like, okay. want to be cool. I feel like, okay, so it was like a, the whole debate on Twitter about how, like, artists like 2C, Rod Wave, and stuff like that, whether that's R&B or not. What you think? I think it's the new R&B. I fuck with it though. It's hard. Yeah. No, of Man. course. I feel like that's a whole new sound that they all building out. I like that okay. shit. I, I feel know. like a lot of people are starting to fit in that category. I wouldn't know what to call it though. I don't know if it's really R and B though. Why wouldn't know? it be R and B though? What would you call it? I feel like it, them is R and B I, artists, gang. I ain't gonna lie to I you. I feel like we should come up with a new category. I feel like it fits R and B for now, but you get what I'm saying? What does R and B even stand for? Rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues. Yes. I never knew that. <laughs> Oh, okay. god! Y'all knew that? No. I ain't know that. Oh, bro. Yes, yeah, R&B stands for rhythm and blues, and I just feel like, you know, like, beats are changing. As well. It could be considered a I think Rod Wave got rhythm and blues. You don't think no, so? No, he does. Some people debate that 2 is not. Some people debate that No Cap isn't. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. I so feel it's like, that. for the No Caps and those people of the world, they should have a lane. They own category. Oh, yeah, I think, like, I mean. the melodic wave, I think that should be, like, a category. That's like, what I'm oh, trying man. to say, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You kind of fit in a lot of both of those lanes. Mm -hmm. shit. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's new genres building. So, like, how did you, do you feel like you have a, you feel like you confirmed whether you want to do just singing or just rapping or, because I feel like the singing songs kind of hit for you. The singing songs definitely hit. I'm more comfortable with my singing songs, but I ain't really, like, I started off rapping for real, but, like, my voice was, like, more like a, you know, I could sing and, like, Yes, well, like, I say, like, my rap, and I try to, like, make it more melodic than strictly just rap. You feel me? So, I like to do my melodic more than my rapping just because I'm, it, like you say, it hit different. Like, it hit yeah. better, and that's yeah. where, like, a lot of my fan base come from. Mm -hmm. But I like doing both. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. So, being from Chicago, so you've been to New York so far. Where else you traveled to? I've been in a lot of different places. Like, I've been in New York, been to Cali. Like out of the country before Mexico, little shit like that. Houston, Atlanta. I like Atlanta and Houston real good. Okay, what's at uh, what place do you feel most creative? Probably here. I ain't gonna lie really? to you. Yeah. People say like their hometown they feel most creative. Yeah, and, like, like other than my hometown, yeah, like hometown yeah, York. then here. Oh, okay, period. Are you in tune with any New York artists? Not as much, yeah. not as much. I know a couple though that rock with me and I rock with them though. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. not too much. All right, so walk us, tell us a little bit about your project. You got a project on the way. You know, not like the rest. September first coming out. Yeah. I feel like it's the hardest shit. You know, I've been putting a lot of, a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of months into this shit. You know. Okay, and what's the overall message of the project? Like, what do you want people to take away from it? I want people when they listen to it, like, damn, shorty different as hell, like. He really not like the rest. That's what I really want people to hear. Like, it ain't just a, like, you ain't going to cut it on and hear the same music. You know, okay. you could cut it on when you sad or you could cut it on when you want to turn up. You could cut it on when you like, 
want to be in your bag or you riding with a lady and shit like it's all different type of vibes with it that like you feel me to show you like oh yeah this shit different okay, okay. any features on the project yeah i got two features on there i got a pgf nook out of chicago and i got maf tiski he okay. up and coming right now out of chicago okay. too okay how do you feel about um what you call it Nook, I have seen in Chicago, on Chicago Wave, I have seen that Nook had did a show, like, in the city, like, in some backyard. I seen that shit. That shit was turn. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never seen no shit like that in Chicago, bro. Right. I was going to say, like, how do you feel about, like, a lot of Chicago artists being not able to perform in Chicago? That shit fool. Like, I wish Sosa could come to the rack. I want to go to a Sosa concert in Chicago. I know that bitch could sell out. Yeah, for sure. And a lot of Chicago motherfuckers feel like that on game, like. Yeah, do you, um... Yeah, that, that's crazy. And I feel like, would you like, do you think you'll put on your own showcase? Would I? Yeah. Hell yeah, for sure you. I would. All right, so you put on the show in Chicago. Give us three artists. Who you headlining with? Who's oh, who's who's performing with you? Uh, <laughs> I'm headlining with Fly KJ. That's my brother right there. And I okay. think he really hard. So he for sure in the show. Uh, it could be any artist like just. Yeah, any artist. Any artist from Chicago. Y'all putting on the show in y'all city type shit. Polo G, yeah. Uh, One more. Sosa. Okay. If he could, that bitch a rock. No, this is not an if he could. It's like this is what you would, you know. What I'm if saying? I could make it happen, yeah, yeah that's what it'll be. Where would, Where would it be at? Where would it be at? It'll be somewhere like, well, a lot of people could go. Maybe like House of Blues or some I shit. I went to a United show Center. in Chicago one time. CGI, that radio station they had some shit. CGI? I'm probably saying it wrong. GCI? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they had a show. It was like the something smash. I forgot. The summer show. smash. Yeah, that's you know at the one? United Center. Okay. Yeah. You would do it there? Yeah, I said the United Center or like uh, the House of Blues or something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I went there before. All right, so project is on the way. Project on the way, man. The hardest Someone shit. Someone that never heard your music, what song would you recommend they listen to? On a project? No, something that's just out right now, and then one on the project. Never know. Never by know. Me. Yeah. So if you never heard the music, you listen to that song. Now on the project, what should be the first song that people tune into? Uh. Is this gonna get the vibe going? Through the rack. Through the rack. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what um what's some of your goals, like musical goals? You know, you putting your foot on the gas this year. You got a project. You closing out the fourth quarter. What's some of your goals this year? Or like moving forward. I want to do more shows. I want to just you know open up my my artistry like to as big as I can. You know like I want to have my own artist and shit too someday too. So like I want to get big enough to the point where I can bring up somebody else with me. You know. Yeah. But mainly importantly is just like give my fans and my supporters like the hardest shit I can mm -hmm. is make as many as songs and perfect my craft as much as I can. Okay, I feel like those are very general answers. I mean, like, do you want to, like, do, like, BT Awards one day, Grammys? like? Hell you know, yeah, like, like yeah, I want to be at the Grammys. I want me a Grammy. <laughs> BT Awards, cool, yeah. I feel like it's a little watered down now, I ain't going to lie. But I, I want to do the BT Awards. I used to sit and watch that shit all the time. That's probably, like, what influenced me now. You feel me watching yeah, that yeah, shit? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, goals like that. Yeah, um, I'm going. records, maybe. Yeah, platinum for sure. Platinum. I know I could go platinum. Yeah, I was say you gotta think bigger with your goals, type shit. For sure, I feel that you are, you a are real one for <laughs> okay. Yeah, just think big. You know, music I feel like is unlimited. You know what I'm saying? Like the options are endless. So you could do fashion, acting. You know what I'm saying? Like music is one bridge to many different. Um, it opened a lot of doors for sure. Type shit yeah. So um, so. On the music tip, was there any artists that you want to work with that you haven't yet? As far as like upcoming or just artists? Upcoming or artists, either or. Upcoming, I fuck with Mellow Bucks hard. I like how she rap just as far as like, ain't no females really coming like that right now, you feel me? Yeah, Especially in the city. Yeah, okay, city. I fuck with Mellow hard, I fuck mm -hmm. with Mellow tough. Uh, I want to work with Polo G too. I feel like our sounds could combine real well. Yeah, for sure. And uh, 
I wish Juice World was still alive. I wish yeah. I could do a song with Juice World so badly. I ain't gonna lie to you. So like when you was in your, I feel like everybody has like a Juice World face. Like were you young listening to him? I was oh, like when he came out till yeah. he passed away. Okay, also oh, so from day one type shit. Yeah, like. Oh yeah, and he's from Chicago. He from the right, yeah. damn bro. Like and then like before he even like was up, I was listening to his shit like. Yeah. So to see him blow and shit, that shit was raw to me. So I just stayed in tune. Okay? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like um? Do you feel like Chicago sets a lot of trends on the yes. music tip? Yes. Everybody copies Chicago. <laughs> People feel like New York be copying Chicago right Come now. Come on. You know the drill from New York is from Chicago. Listen. Be honest, though. Is it not? I'm just... Drill rapping New York is crazy. When that happened? I Since mean, when? I don't think it's necessarily copying. I think we were inspired. That's a nicer way to put it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I think we were inspired. But not yet. I think everybody's just trying stuff right now. Um, So, in Chicago, people... I feel like it's like a divide going on. You know, some people fuck with some people, a lot of people fuck with, don't fuck with a lot of people. Does that hurt or help on the music side of things? I mean, I don't really get into that, like, as far as, like, I'm going to fuck with who I fuck with. Mm-hmm. Like, unless you one of my brothers or someone, or, like, you really the guys or some shit needs your ops so you don't fuck with them, then I'm not going to fuck with them, okay? Yeah. Just because I'm riding for my brothers. But, like, other niggas not fuck with them and they trying to fuck with me and they not going to fuck with me because I fuck with them. I'm not doing that shit, bro. I fuck with who I fuck with. If I think you cool, if you genuine to me, I'm going to be genuine to you. Okay. That's that's true. I feel that. Um. Okay, so which one of your songs do you feel like you have your best verse? My best verse? Because people say Chrome Hearts is one of them ones, but you might have another one in the tuck, you know? I did a song with Cowboy. And I think one of your best verses. I took off on his shit. Okay, <laughs> I think I took off on his shit. I fuck with that verse. And um, getting into music, was your family supportive of the music? Yeah, my family real supportive of the music. Like my granny, my biggest fan. Like uh-huh. it be to the point like where motherfuckers be like, "Damn, chill, <laughs> um, bro." Like one of those. Like she really supportive of me. My mama, my daddy, everybody. Like they fuck with heavy. They support what I'm doing. They just like, cause I ain't never grow up with motherfuckers that did music in my family or like had no uncles or cousins or shit that to look up to that did that shit you know so yeah. i really just put my own foot in the door with that shit and to see that like my family see that mm-hmm. it's something special you know because i'm the yeah. first one to be doing all this shit that's what's up so when making music are you thinking of how this song is going to appeal to you know certain audiences or are you just going by the moves you're in like, like what's your creative process i usually just like have i'm feeling like some days I go in, I don't want to talk nobody or no, you know, I feel down or some shit. I make some down music, but I know what it appeal to when I'm making it. If that makes sense, like okay. I know this type of music gonna so appeal to these a people. Pattern, I guess. Yeah, Rhythm like type shit. it's really just like I go by what my mood is for real, for real. Like mm-hmm. some days I might get in that bitch turn, like I'm feeling good today, you know, and I know that oh yeah, these they gonna fuck with this, I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, I feel like right now we're in the phase where like everybody feel like they need a TikTok record. Do you be I'm not that with pressure? that shit. I, feel, <laughs> I need it like, but like I would want it, but I'm here for just talent on game. Like okay. motherfuckers gonna hear my shit, on, okay. bro. Like as long as I push my shit out, how I push my shit out, I feel like it'll eventually come. Yeah. Do you feel like TikTok is like helping or hurting the music scene? It's helping. I fuck with it on game. Like it's a lot of artists that's up now mm-hmm. off TikTok Word. off a 30 second sound that <laughs> shit is crazy some people like it some people don't like it some people feel like it's not fair for the people that's really putting their time in. you know what I'm saying I don't think like that man I feel like <laughs> everybody got their own story with their shit and that should be meant for certain motherfuckers you know yeah no definitely I think you know promoting is promoting how yeah yeah like some motherfuckers might blow up on Facebook some motherfuckers might blow up on Instagram motherfuckers mm-hmm. catch their wave on TikTok and be gone um, are you looking to like sign a deal or you don't want to be independent all the way through or what you thinking? I feel like I'll sign a deal correctly if the number's right. Like if I, not even just so much if the number's right, like if it's genuine, like if you care for me, how I care for you, it ain't just no paperwork. You feel yeah. me? If we could talk and have a regular conversation outside of music, I know you there for me on game, okay. you know? All right. And have you been going to meetings? Have people been interested? Because I know Chrome Heart was big. Yeah, I didn't talk to a lot of different labels. I didn't talk to a lot of different labels. I actually just left a label today, this morning. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, in New York, that's definitely what you're going to do. Hell yeah. I fuck with it. So in New York, I feel like a lot of, we're really big on like numbers here. I feel like niggas be on some, if you don't got a million views, you're not on shit. Do numbers discourage you? You know what I'm saying? Or numbers do don't discourage me. To? Numbers don't. Because if I think a motherfucker hard, I can see it in them. Like, okay. But a lot of people don't feel like that, though. Yeah, that's what I'm I, mean. I, I call that, like, you just Hollywood or some shit. Like, you know, you, okay. you feeling it. Because feeling a motherfucker can have a consistent flow of 50,000 views or, like, you know, mm-hmm. 10,000, 15,000. Yeah. But they hard as fuck, though, versus a motherfucker that mm-hmm. got millions of views, but they just catching waves. You feel me? Or, like, yeah. they shit ain't as... Do you feel like you could see like a diamond in the rough? You feel like you could see if an artist really got it, even if it's not there? Hell yeah, I feel like now I can't like dealing with artists and how I be more around different people and shit. Like I could see who really in for this shit and who really just on some, I want to be a rapper type shit, you know? And then as far as you, what do you think makes you stand out as an artist? I don't know. I just carry myself a different way. I feel mm-hmm. like I feel like I'm real humble with this shit. Like mm-hmm. it's plenty of times I could pop my shit, but I really don't be trying to mm-hmm. pop it. Everybody say I need to start popping my shit more, but I, I mean, ain't, to some extent. I think to I some think extent, should, yeah. yeah. But like I don't know, man. I just come to this shit with, from humble beginnings. You know, I come from a humble ass background, and I just try to be different with this shit. I don't try to be. I'm not trying to catch a wave, or like I ain't trying to join a wave. You know, like I rather create my own shit, and that's okay. how I always been. So what should we look forward to for the rest of this year? Projects on the way. Project on the way for sure. Like we going promotion crazy with that. Mm-hmm. Not like the rest. That should be out by September first, okay. beginning of the month. But mm-hmm. like right now we putting in work and shit. All this shit gonna be lined up to the point where it's like you know, I like to have my when it's it's, it's better. You can move better when shit in place. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. it's easy to promote. It's easier to you know you can. You can see clearly when everything, and you know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it seems like you got a good support team and shit. Yeah, they fuck with me. Heavy. <laughs> I fuck with my team. So tell the people where to find you. How could they tune in? How could they stay in tune with you? I'm on Fly Nari on everything. On Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Pandora, Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook. Whatever you use and you want to get in tune with me, Fly Nari, F-L-Y-N-A-R-I. And that's the Talk of the Town. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check out our website at www.talkofthetownshow.com.